What up, what up? It's Eddie Block. I got a quick update to the new build that I'm working on. I went ahead and I, I'm going with the spoiler look on the front. And my bumper's hanging off because it's just barely taped on there. It's just the mocked up version. And I got a nice hood scoop. It's going to be custom hood scoop put on there. And this is, like I said, this is this is not the new 99. This is 89. This is the old school one. And it's nice. And, man, the rims that it came with looked really good. At first, I was thinking about putting custom rims on it. But I'm going to go ahead and go with the original wheels. I believe that once they get detail sanded up and ready for ready for the road that it's gonna look really nice. But this is the 1989 Silverado that I'm working on. Just wanted to show you guys that. Also I brought a, um, one of my old school bills out to Vantasy. You guys remember the Vantasy. I brought him out for you guys to see that. You guys remember when I built the Vantasy I had did a lot of interior work in there. I put the plexiglass engine cover on the inside and a bunch of wood grain stuff. Now you can actually see the engine in there. Bunch of wood grain door panels, the floor is wood grain, everything's all custom and wild in there. This was my um, Vantasy build that I had did. So yeah, let me see if I can get the door open. This one also has a... Um, Okay, I also built, I built a sliding glass door on there. This is the one that I had built with the uh, 55 inch gallon simulated fish tank up in there, up against the wall. I'll see if I can zoom in. I don't want to lose the shot. But that was the fish tank that I built. I built that out of Pegasus packaging. You guys can kind of see it up in there. The fish tank on the wall, old school with the seashell in it, the seaweed and all that stuff. And um, also I built a glass coffee table up in there. Yeah, this was one of my cool builds. I, I really like building this. I had a lot of fun. Had a little chip right there on the floorboard right there. A little accident. But um, yeah, this is how that fantasy came out for me. Got the color coded Dayton's on it to match. I even I had went ahead and I opened up the hood on this on this build. Because the hood did not open on here, I opened it up and scratch built the um, the optimal battery, and that you can kind of see a little bit of the front of the engine in there, kinda. With that engine, like I said, it'll have the plexiglass cover over it. <laughs> this was a really cool build. I scratch built the brake um, booster and the reservoir. All that stuff is scratch built. This, like I said, when I bought this car, the hood did not open on that but that's how I went ahead and did that. It's a little dusty too. I see I got a little water stain on it or something right there. When, when I had this when I had finished building this I had set a fire in my in my fireplace in my living room and I had this setting on top of the fireplace and the hood kind of kind of melted right there on me. The model's a little dirty. I just grabbed it off the shelf and I had never cleaned it off before anyway. Uh, little hood's acting a little weird. But this is my fantasy. This is how that came out for me with the sliding door. You have to be able to do it with. You have to be able to grab it like that. But that's the fantasy. I just wanted you guys to see that old school look to it. That old school van that I did again. It even has the water condensation over time. It's built up in there like the, like a real car. That's water condensation. And I scratch built that old school limousine antenna. Yeah, this was the old fantasy. I just wanted to show you guys this, this video. Got the little raptor on the back. The evil wizard. That's, that's the fantasy. That's how that came out for me. This was really fun to build this. I had a step side made out of wood over here, but it came off. That's okay. Yeah, I think it looks better with it off anyway. Fantasy. 
keep your eyes open for the 89 Silverado that's going to be coming soon. Kind of hard to open it with um, one hand. But that's my sliding door. Really fun build. And keep your guy, you guys keep your eyes open for this bad boy. This is gonna be coming. It's looking really mean. It's 89 Silverado. I can't wait to get started. I got the chassis right here. I'm a, I got it all ready for basically what I'm gonna do to it. So I'm gonna go out today and I'm gonna put the black over this. I'm gonna lay a nice flat black over this so I can begin to detail all of the parts to it. I got my new pack of glue over there. That's my favorite stuff. But I use more than just that. It has the big cauliflower up there. <laughs> my buddy knows what I'm talking about. The big cauliflower glue bomb. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick look at my fantasy. With the plexiglass engine cover up in there. You can see the spark plug wire set up right there. Pretty cool. The hardwood floors, wood grain door panel, the big fish tank in the back, 55 inch fish tank. <laughs> this model was really fun to build this with that plexiglass coffee table. That's the fantasy that I had built. If I redo it now, I probably can do a better one. Been working on my skills a little bit more, I probably can do one a little better. But that was pretty fun to build. Very realistic Dayton's. The bottom of this car is a mess though, bro. I don't, I don't like how they designed the undercarriage. It's just, it's all messed up. So I didn't do too much detail on the bottom at all. But that's it. This model is made to be looked at from the top anyway, not the bottom to me basically for this one. Yep, but I hope you guys enjoy it and keep your eyes open for my monster truck that I'm about to do. Well, not the monster truck, but a nice beef rat motor or something up in there. Something real cool. Alright, that's Eddie Block. Keep your eyes open for this build. Out.